Welcome to my craft table. Hello, this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. And let's get started. Okay, so the, what I'm going to use is this stamp from Tidings All Around and this little stamp here. The sentiment I'm going to use is just a note out of flourishing phrases. I'm going to be using the original Daisy Punch and the Leaf Punch. I'm going to be using a blender. You could use um, one of the daubers or a sponge. I just have these. Uh, makeup brushes then I like the way they blend so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black, Bombay Blue, Pacific Point, and Old Olive. For cardstock I have a piece of the Whisper White which is four by five and a quarter. A piece of Thick which is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a scrap of Whisper White to punch our daisies out of. A scrap of, of Old Olive to punch our leaves out with. And a punch of Daffodil Delight to punch the center of the flower out with. And I'll also need the half inch circle punch for that. Okay, so let's get started. Why don't we start with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is ink around the edges of my card. I'm going to use the balmy blue and I'm going to just get some ink on my brush and I'm going to dab off just a little bit see how it get, gets those harshnesses off. You do the same thing with your sponges as well. I'm just going to ink around the edges A little bit more in the corners. This doesn't take too long, it's just a little time consuming. Oops, I forgot to wipe it off. And it does work better if you're working on like a silicone, the silicone craft sheet or something, because it flows a little bit nicer. The paper doesn't, then the paper doesn't absorb all the ink off your tool. I also want to do a little bit in the center here. So start lightly. And press a little harder as you need to. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so we're done with that. And this you can clean just by wiping off on your scratch paper until no color comes. That's pretty much cleaned. Okay, now we're going to bring the old olive in. Ouch. We're going to bring in this stamp here. We're going to stamp it three times up here, like twice and then once a little bit higher. So let's start with that higher one. like three different variations of height of it. We'll do two down here at the bottom. A little ink there, but that's all right. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the Pacific Point. And the little dots. 
and add some berries to these stems. There's no right or wrong with this. They don't really line up. It just kind of gives you a little bit of illusion that there's something on those stems. Since I've got boo-boos up here, I'm going to add some dots there. Let's just uh, hide them. Let's do some here. I'm not going to see them under here, but I'm going to do them there anyway. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Now we're going to bring in our tuxedo black ink. And then just a note. I'm going to stamp it onto here so I can tell if it, how straight it needs to be. I'm going to stamp this down here in this bottom corner. Awesome. And of course, I did it crooked anyway, but that's all right. Now I'm going to add a little piece of washi tape. This is from my stash. It is not Stampin' Up. Um, they do have a really pretty um, ribbon. That is in the holiday catalog that would be pretty for this, but I did not purchase it. So I'm just going to, down in this third, I'm just going to put this glittery blue washi tape. Go ahead and roll it over to the back. Okay. So now we're going to set this aside. And we're going to bring in our punches. And I need three of these leaf ones from the old olive cardstock. If you try to stay at least a quarter of an inch away from the edges, you can still use this as a base behind the card. bring in a bone folder and I'm gonna find the top side like that needs sharpened and I'm going to curl I'm just gonna grab the hold it here and I'm just gonna pull between my finger and the bone folder each one of those so I want those petals to be curling up towards the top Do that on both of them. I'm not adding any color or anything. I'm just giving them a little bit of a curl. Okay. And I'm going to bring in the Daffodil Delight and the Half Inch Circle Punch. And I'm going to punch out a circle. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a dimensional, standard dimensional. I'm going to put it on the back of this little circle. And then I'm going to kind of fold these edges down so that they kind of go along the hexagon shape of that um, dimensional. Okay, just to give it a little bit of something something. Okay, these will get glued together. Just add a little bit of combo in the center. Move this out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing now. I'm going to move them so that they're opposite each other. 
And I'm going to take the back off this dimensional. And add it right to the center of my flower. Okay. Now these I just took. pokey tool. I just drew a line right down the center of each one of those veins. It's not necessary, it just adds a little bit of something extra. So it looked quite nice even without that. Just gives them just a tiny bit of dimension. You want to hold it flat, you don't want to hold it on its tip because it'll you want to hold it flat and just rub it. Okay. Alright, let's bring in our card. Put it together. So we've got our card front. We're gonna add this. Sorry about that. Onto there. With some Tombow Blue or Snail that works just as well. Use Tombow, don't use too much. Center it up on the front of your card. Okay, we're going to add. Uh, did I? No, I glued it flat on. Okay, just a little bit of glue in the center here. It's going to go right over this spot here where all those stems met, or, you know, all meet. So figure out where you want to put it. Then we're going to add these leaves in. So just put a little bit of glue on the back of the stems. Figure out where you want them and stick them in there. One more. Here. There you go guys, there's the card we just made together. It's very simple, and it is indeed simple stamping except we added the punch, so. And then here's the one I did prior. Well thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, I almost forgot. I also took a Wink of Stella and just colored in the center with the Wink of Stella. Just gave it a little bit of something something. And you could just go and touch, you know, the little berries with the Wink of Stella as well. You just want to be careful because it will pick up the ink and you don't want to smear it around. Okay, well, again, thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great day.